in, Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Welcome to my home. I want to bring you into my home that's about 100 years old. It's a white stucco home, red tile roof, Spanish style, old California. This is one of the oldest homes in the neighborhood and one of the oldest cities in Northern California. Stockton, California was the original capital of California back in 18, in the 1850s. So come on in here to my sunken living room. This home is about 100 years old, and if you'll take a look at the ceiling, it has an indented ceiling, and I painted, I had a custom paint painter come out here and do a Italian sky. This is very similar to the painting that you will see in Caesars in Las Vegas. These bookcases are absolutely filled with treasures. Right up here is a Think and Grow Ridge from 1946. This is a collection of some of the greatest insight and personal development, self-improvement. Now right here, this chair, the blue chair, is the love seat. This is where I have created many, many great memories, personally coaching and one-on-one -on -one mentoring over 9,000 clients. Right here is Alexis Romano and C.G. Siddons, two women who went on to become exceptional entrepreneur business women who are leaders and mentors in network marketing, direct sales, and free enterprise. This is my kitchen I've been remodeling for the last 15 years. As I travel, I like to pick up a few knickknacks here and there. Here's a collection of shot glasses I picked up in various and different cities. I'm also an Art Deco collector. I like to collect martini pictures from the 1920s and 30s. These are my Art Deco collection. And one of my favorite collections that connects me back with my boyhood memories are Heartland Plastics. The Heartland Plastic figurines came out between 1958 and 1963. This is a very unique French sword. Now, this saber is used specifically to chop the head off of champagne bottles. In 1979, when I was a waiter in a four-star restaurant in Kansas City, I saw a wine sommelier take a very similar sword to this, take a bottle of Moe Chandon, and chop the glass neck of the bottle off, and in his hand, catch the glass with the cork still in it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get in my TR6, I'm gonna go down to my museum, where you can see a few more of the automobiles in my collection. Hello. Jeffrey Combs, welcome to my museum. Come on inside, let me show you around. Right here you see a 1966 2 plus 2 Mustang. That right there is a 1987 560 SL Coupe. All of my cars are frame off restoration. Now right over here, this beauty is a 1962 Corvette, 41,000 original miles. Complete frame off restoration, and one word describes this car, sweet. This is a 1983 911 SC Porsche, and one of the rarest cars in my collection is a 1973 3.0 CS BMW. Right over here is a collection of some of my swords. These are movie swords. This is from Braveheart. This is from Highlander. And the rest of these swords come from the movie, Kingdom of Heaven. My favorite athletes in the world, I always wanted to have painted. So I took my four favorite athletes from four different sports and have them, had them painted on one mural. So right here is the great Joe Montana with the Golden Gate Bridge represented by the city by the bay. When I was in high school, no one could do it like Pistol Pete Maravich. So in homage to professional basketball, there's my man, Pistol Pete. And no baseball collection would be complete without the great Stan the Man. I grew up in the Midwest and I am a diehard St. Louis Cardinal player. And early in my childhood, I had the privilege of meeting and seeing run the great Steve Prefontaine, who was one of the first athletes to wear the Nike brand. This is an original mural made by a local Stockton artist. This is a mural from a picture of Nice, France in the 1920s. Now if you take a look at the walls, my walls are filled with Art Deco, neons, I have lots of flags, I have lots of art from different period pieces. 
I grew up in the Midwest on ranches and farms, and it was always one of my dreams to own a horse. I don't presently own a horse, but I own a lot of saddles. Right here is the actor, Mark Harmon. Mark typically doesn't sign autographs. I was fortunate enough that Mark did a personal signature for me. Now right here is the great Joe Montana. One of the most unique autographs I have of Joe Montana is this one right up here. That is a piece of wood from the chicken soup game in the Cotton Bowl 1979 when Joe Montana came off the bench with 102 temperature to rally Notre Dame to a come behind victory from University of Houston at the Cotton Bowl. This is a collection of every Heisman Trophy, every Heisman Trophy winner's autograph on an 8x10 from 1935. And the most valuable autograph in that collection is the great Niall Kinnick, who graduated from the University of Iowa in 1939, and Ernie Davis, 1961 Heisman Trophy winner, who died of leukemia at 20, age 22. Here's a 1940 Babe Ruth autograph and a 1927 Lou Gehrig autograph. Up in the very right hand corner is the great Pistol Pete Maravich. Pete did not sign a lot of autographs, he signed a lot of checks, but finding an 8x10 Pete Maravich autograph in original Atlanta Hawks uniform is a very, very rare piece of sports memorabilia history. I am definitely willing to pay the price of success to have the pleasure of relaxation. It's been great sharing time with you. Thanks a lot. Time for you to go. I'm going to have a great evening. Thank you very much for sharing my crib with me. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated.